I am loving this ability to put a background on things. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, this background here is Arcade Paradise. Um, it's pretty cool. These washing, these tumble dryers all need emptying and stuff. But yeah, it's it's so cool actually. And it is a little motion video. You can see little bits of like tumble dryer fluff floating around and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd put that on. I've got another one that I'm going to use as well as a background from Arcade Paradise. It's a pretty cool game. I, I mean, I I personally really really like it. I just thought I'd give a quick update anyway on how it's going, what I'm up to with the arcade place, and also like how much tumble drying and washing and laundry and stuff like that I've got going on to do because i've sort of abandoned it to be honest with you like I, i've really yeah I, I well i have and i have like I've, I've sort of boycotted it but at the same time if i see there's laundry to be done i sort of have to do it like i don't know if you've ever watched the comedy if you haven't you need to like i, I promise you Red Dwarf. Well, no, I don't know. Maybe that is more nostalgia. Maybe it hasn't aged that well, if I'm absolutely honest. Like, it's a, it's a classic. Love that comedy, Red Dwarf. Like, guys drifting around in space. It's so good. But I don't think it has aged well, if I'm being objective about it. But on Red Dwarf, there's a robot called Crichton. And he just has... He just It's in his program. It's in his blood. He loves doing laundry. Like... He loves washing up parts, he loves household chores, that's just this robot, it's funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, if I see laundry needs to do it, I'll do it, I don't know why. Because um, really, I'm not earning anywhere near as much on the laundry anymore as I am on the actual arcade machines, and you'll see that in a second. All of this stuff, which I thought, oh, that's easy money, you know, what's that, $30? It's not that easy money anymore. The laundry just sort of takes care of itself, really. And I say that because I've had this um, machine, you know, the token machine, to do your laundry. I've had it filled, like, twice a day now. Some days. Anyway. Well, there's $106 for doing nothing. I've only got three washing machines now, so it's, it's a bit... Getting a bit crowded in here. But I mean, I should make it really. If this was like IRL, I'd make it just completely self service. I don't know if that exists really. Radical. We paid a lot to have a quilt done. I don't know. Or maybe the money's in, in doing it for people. Who knows? But anyway, since I last did an update on this Arcade Paradise, um, I've expanded through the back here, which everybody would do, because the game's got the same sort of format for everybody who plays it, do you know what I mean? Um, but I've knocked all this through, which has eaten away at some of this laundrette now, which is good news. Although... Yeah, I think the toilet's still where it is, but obviously to get to the toilet now, you need to go through the arcade and what have you. Got in a few more machines, I, I think since my last update. And actually, um, I got some DLC machines as well, which is a bit sort of... I, I used to be totally against DLC um, in games. I used to just, you know, I think because I was... I'm old school, you know what I mean? Games were released in the 90s, and you, you, that's everything you got. There was no DLC, do you know what I mean? You just got the full game, and that was it. Um, and I've always seen DLC as a bit of a publisher's money grab, generally, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I've seen it, I've seen DLC treated differently by indie studios, do you know what I mean? But when companies are releasing a game and the DLC has been talked about, as soon as the game's released, it's a bit like, really? Now you can upgrade that watch so you don't have to get the bleeps on it and stuff, if you're so inclined. 
I think I would be because it, it does sort of interrupt the game experience. What I don't know, right, is you can buy a new gold watch off eBay, but I don't know. Let's just stick one of those in there while we're at it. But I don't know how to get the eBay cash. So, because it's different to the regular game cash. I'll show you what I mean in a second once I've just done this. I, I honestly, I, th I feel like I'm just obliged to keep a service going for the community with this one though right now because I don't know maybe it's just I've done so much laundry I can't help it I mean I've become Pavlovian programmed to just continue to do the laundry and I know there's a lot of guys that are saying oh I abandoned it like day one do you know what I mean I, I didn't bother with it from the start type thing but I don't know right um, let's go and check this thing again and see how much cash there is in it. Because I took 116 out of it, it's up 106 already. So, we'll just have a whip round here and just, just get a feel for the machines. 170 out of that. 92 out of that one. 92. You see, and I'm getting like, what, $5 for each laundry basket. It's nothing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's weird crawling around like this. And some sort of uh, you have clean clothes in the waiting in the dryer. Do I? I don't know. What, what about clean clothes waiting in the dryer? Oh, well, I didn't know those were washing machines, sorry mate. Mm -hmm. I thought they were tumble dryers, to be honest. Oh, well. It's crazy, isn't it, when you empty your own tumble dryer, how much bloody crap you realise comes off the clothes. Like, you know what I mean? It's, a, it's amazing that clothes aren't threadbare after a, a few goes, do you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. I don't want to tumble dry this snuddy that I'm wearing now. What's it called again? Yeah, snuddy. I, don't, I just don't want it to lose its like stuff, do you know what I mean? But then again, that's the best way to pull things up. It's one of the best materials for fire lighting, is tumble dry fluff. Well, actually... If it, as long as it's not synthetic crap, then it's pretty good. Got a really nice cricket jumper, woolen cricket jumper that I'm not really sure. I presume I don't need to be tumble dry enough. Now I've, I've just had a whip round of this arcade place, right? And there's like near on three and a half thousand dollars there. So. Oh, stop going on at me. What's in this jukebox? Did I empty this already? Must have emptied that. I'm sure it's there's more than six dollars usually in that. So I'm not even gonna get a class an S class with this, I bet you. Rank A. Which is pretty it's just a waste of time doing this now, right? For for what's involved. Reward, effort, cost benefit. Is <laughs> the cost benefit is the phrase I'm looking for? Cost benefit, not worth it. I don't think anyway. But it's extra money that I wouldn't be earning otherwise. But really, I got this game. I think I got it before it was on Game Pass. And I've just noticed, well, Tin Hearts is now on Game Pass. That's one of the more pricier titles that I've. I bought on Xbox and also Hell Let Loose is one of the more pricier titles I've splashed money out on Xbox and that's on Game Pass now. So basically my conclusion is unless you can unless you're really desperate for a title, which then, you know, think about why. Because you shouldn't be really. 
um, don't buy it, any Xbox titles. That's my advice. Because they'll either end up on Game Pass or free on Epic Games on PC anyway. Even if you haven't got a good PC now, the PC required to run those games that have come out now for free on Epic Games in two or three years' time will be so cheap. That you, you know what I mean? Might as well just get the free game now. Knowing that in the future we'll be able to run it. I don't know. I can I think it's great that all games are coming out on Game Pass and Epic for free. It's just goddamn annoying when you've only just pretty much bought it. Right, I think. Oh my god, it's getting it's busier now when I've got fewer machines. And it's not just because I feel it's busy because I've got fewer machines. It is actually busier now than it has been when I had the full laundrette, which is weird. Anyway, so we'll just dump this off. Need to get rid of that front part, front, front laundrette section. Okay, four grand. Have I got enough to buy an arcade machine? Six and a half. Oh, just like twelve dollars short. This is where you get the DLC from. So I bought that pinball. This is all right. And Kung Fury. And I, I don't know if I just. I think I think I just couldn't be bothered. Like with the rest, having the look at them, I don't know. And this is the eBay. No, not that's chat. This is the eBay section. But the thing is, oh, I think you complete your eBay stuff by doing the day's objectives. Right, yeah, that sort of rings a bell. So play blockchain for five minutes, get a score of two and a half thousand in Fruit Crush. And score 10 goals in video air hockey, which is near impossible for me. I, I do really badly with that. Fruit Crush. Uh, not Fruit Crush, air hockey. I do pretty badly on all of these, actually, if I'm honest. Like, there's, there's not one gateway in here that I'm just like, oh, I'm amazing at. The woodcutter one is, is one of the tough ones for me. And, I, and it's so simple. Do you know what I mean? You just go left or right, cutting wood. There's nothing else to it, really. What's going on here? Hmm. Seems to be manically running around like a headless thing. Is what I mean. I'm just. I know it's not worth it. Worth my time. Look, I've only got forty dollars out doing this as well. It's a like it. Is it a cheat option where you don't have to press A? Like a, uh, I say, a cheat option, like an accessibility option. There. I think you just tap A. Right, let's have a look at that. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not holding A. That just feels a lot easier. Yeah. Should have done that at the beginning. But how have I known about it and not done it? I don't understand. Maybe I felt it was cheating. Okay, those are those three. Oh, what am I? I'm not going to collect any of the cash. I'm just going to get this done. Yeah. 
can hear that. That's the arcade machine I can hear through the wall there. This is the one where it wanted me to get so many. What was the thing? Let's go two and a half thousand in fruit crush. This, this is a bit like Puyo Puyo, isn't it? God, is exactly like Poyo Poyo. that right up. in my mind I need to get this eBay thing before. look at that look at the state of it it's not fair and it, and it does it's sort of like I don't know if this fuck off god damn it it's sort of like um, oh my fucking god Sort of like tests, test you, do you know what I mean? Because, god damn it, two and a half thousand it says to get a score off, and, and I'm like, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so gonna do it. Oh, piss off. But the thing is, of all that time I've put into loading up those washing machines now, I get so little cash out of it. I might as well just not bother, to be honest, that's, that's like the conclusion I reach on this. Combo. Oh, it's got to annoys me there. Damn it. I'm blaming that on the watch. I'm supposed to get two and a half thousand on this. I was, I was only waiting for that train life simulator to finish uploading so I could stream again. For whilst I'm doing that, I'll have a little bash. Paradox, which is pretty much how I play it nowadays. It's like while I'm waiting for something else. I have a bash. Thousand. Two and a half thousand. Two 
Token machines full. You don't earn any. I don't think this is, in fairness, two and a half thousand in one city. It's not typically like this. It's like just two and a half thousand at some point. Rolling technique, you know, like the Tetris World Champions do or whatever on this game. It's fast, isn't it? Does it get faster at level 29? That's the question. But like I said, uh, this is definitely more Poyo Champions than anything else. Five hundred to go, come on. Let's get this done. Yeah. 
I've got the to-do list item done anyway, that's the main thing. Oh, some to this bloody thing. Oh, I can't because it's full. It's because it's, the shop's closed. I can't do anything now. It's like... It this is the bloody problem as well. You don't actually get time to do anything in this game. By the time you've had like a couple of games, explode a hundred bombs in bomb dudes, pop or drop, what was it? Pop or drop. Pop or drop ten bubbles at once in bug eye and defeat 30 enemies using the rocket weapon in Vostok 2093. I really regret selling, this is Pocket Pausa 3. I had a Palm 5X PDA. I had two actually. I'm sure my girlfriend gave me hers after she decided that it wasn't much better than pen and paper for actually getting stuff done. But um, yeah. Or oh, did I buy one? Or somebody gave me a Palm M505, a colour one, or so. I can't remember. But I've had two anyway over the years. Great! And I thought they were absolutely brilliant. The first one I had was, I thought it was superb. I was a student at the time, so it didn't really like, you know, help organise shit that much, to be honest. But I really, now that I've been playing this game, I feel really nostalgic for that device, I have to say. I think it's pretty cool that, like, the guy's got that going on. And his watch syncs up to the washing machine. I just really like it. I mean, I, I've been tempted to look back through eBay. I probably have done. As, a, as I do, I, I, I can happily spend time looking through Facebook Marketplace and eBay at, at vintage tech that I feel nostalgic about. For sure. I actually enjoy doing that. I only bought something today, a PS3. Annoyingly, I... I, I I, I, I kept messaging the lady, going back and forth, and eventually I was, I was like, look, last question, I promise, what's the model number on the back of the unit type thing? Before before I come over at four o'clock and buy this, you know, so it saves me a journey. Because it, it, I wasn't exactly shot from the pictures exactly which PlayStation it was, and I don't know much about PlayStations, but I know what I want. Anyway, I would have had it off her. 30 quid she was asking for. These are like the cheapest of 70 quid in CX, yeah. And she was like, 30 quid with two controllers, blah, blah, blah. I was like, perfect. You know what I mean? Anyway, so she messaged me. She took like, she said, oh, I'll ask my mum. My mum's in at the moment, blah, blah, blah. And then she messaged me. I can't remember if I answered that message about one o'clock I didn't get the message till three and she said this is the model number do you still want it and then the next message it was like four minutes later 
Can you please let me know if you still want it? And then like ten minutes after that, I've sold it to someone else. I was like, hey, fucker. Do you know what I mean? Like, now I don't know 100% if I'd have taken it. To be honest, it was a bit of a risk based on that model number. But yeah, just just a bit impatient. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I think there's more people that say they will buy something and don't show up than there are people that oh god damn it that say they will sell something and then change their mind. Basically, like I think she's just covering herself. She obviously wants to sell it and she doesn't want a time waster. And you get a lot of time wasters. I don't know why, but people just saying, "Oh, I'll buy that," and then just not showing up, which is a bit strange to me. Like, why would you? Just, it's not all harmful to send a message to say, oh, I've changed my mind, or I can't make it, or blah, blah, blah. You know? But anyway, in, in this case, I would have I would have bought it. You have clean clothes waiting in the dryer, do I? Oh, they stand down here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, that was a result of spending an hour or so just looking around at vintage tech. I mean, I say vintage tech. I mean, it's a PS3. It's not that vintage. But it is, in many ways. And just reading about it, reading about the different models. So, like, in terms of video games consoles, what I'm after is... Basically, my Wii U will cover... The Wii U itself, it will cover the Nintendo Wii and the Nintendo GameCube. Most things will cover anything older than that, you know what I mean? The snares and the N64 and stuff like that, including the Wii U, will cover all those things. Um, I mean, it's full up with money again, isn't it? Straight away. Um, so that's the Wii U. I've got an Xbox Series X and an Xbox 360. So, the Series X pretty much, mo a lot of games are backwards compatible, not all games, which is, you know, that's a frustration, but a lot of games are. All right, so the Series X covers the Xbox One, the Xbox 360, and the Xbox Original. But certainly the Xbox 360 covers itself, obviously, and the Xbox Original, and I've got I've got the 360. So I'm covered for Xbox ecosystem. I'm covered for the Nintendo ecosystem, more or less. You know, I like I'm I'm not fussed about Switch at the moment. I will get one at some point, but not right now. Price-wise, the next sort of ecosystem that I want to look at is PlayStation. So I want to get PS3, but a fat one, so that it covers PS2 games, instead of using software emulation, it uses hardware emulation with the built-in chip, a P and a PS4. So I'll get a PS3 and a PS4, that covers quite a chunk of the P PlayStation generations. I also fancy a PS Vita, and a Nintendo 3DS as well. Just because I, I like the hardware and what it does. I don't know why the watch is kicking off. What's what's to be done? Uh, dry, close. Tumble dry, close. I've toggled that. Why is it now forcing me to hold it? I don't know what's going on there. Should just also, yeah, let's do it now. And I, and I enjoy reading about these things, to be fair. Like, you know, I mean, I, it's not just a case of buying it. I enjoy reading about it, enjoy reading about the history of it, why it was so. Evolutionary. 
which many of these games were. Not many of these consoles. Every, every console, well, particularly the early ones, were quite revolutionary in what they did. Like, whether it be like the first 16 bit console. Those things are nowadays they're not so much groundbreaking as they are just like a better iteration. But yeah, I mean to be honest, I, I sometimes think the Series X is just a the same the same as the Xbox One X. It's just a bit better than the One X, really. And mainly because it's got that internal SSD. That's that's pretty much the reason why it's better. I know it's got more processing power, but Oh, God damn it. I'm so tired today. I've got to stop talking as well. Because it's making making me yawn. <laughs> oh dear. Right. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if the PS4 to PS5 was a huge jump, but again, I just don't think it would have been. I think these are iterative steps nowadays, not revolutionary steps. Nintendo seem to have revolutionised a fair whack, actually. Like their, their consoles always seem to be a massive leap of difference, really. Right. That's got 110. So we should be alright for a second. Or for a minute. Okay, I'm going to buy something. It doesn't matter what I buy, really. Need to your madness. Table football. Full spell. Wood guy golf. Fuck that. Knuckles and knees. Corporate corruption fuels violent street thugs and how it's time to clean up the streets. Talking nice. Didn't work. Oh, that's not available to me then. Coming soon. We'll buy table for a spell. Okay, that'll be a nice surprise for when I'm next sort of in. Good timing, isn't it? I think you can employ a system manager, but you can't get your assistant manager to actually do the bloody laundry, which is annoying. I think they're only for like the arcade place or something. I can't remember. But somebody was explaining it. Was all this bullshit flashing up all the time? Come on, customers, stop dropping things off. I think there's a minimum time you're allowed to go home as well without getting into trouble. Okay, I'm falling asleep. Oh, they've all ended. I'm probably... Am I going to get an S for this? I mean, I've seemed to be in at it a little while. 
They seem to be in here all the time now. Again. Five dollars. It's just not worth shit, is it really? If it's after two, I'm going. It is after two on a Friday. Fuck this. I'm off. So, $1,500 from the arcade and $300 from the laundromat. And $160 from cleaning the toilet and, you know, whatever you pick it up litter, get paid to pick up litter, which is a bit strange. And didn't get any objectives done either. So, yeah, that's a little update on how my arcade paradise game's going. Um, what I hope to do is well, next time I do a, an update, I'll have all this bloody laundromat disappeared as well. Right. I'm going to kick it, take it easy, and I'll catch you next time.